Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Tell what property allows you to compute 1 by 3 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 4 by 3 as 1 by 3 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 4 by 3. So basically this is in which format? This is in the format A into B into C. And this is in the format A into B into C. So which is that property which tells us that this value and this value are the same. Because only when these two values are same we can compute this as this. Because they both are the same. So what is that property? That property is nothing but the associative property for multiplication. And this property holds true for rational numbers. Question number 9. Is 8 by 9 the multiplicative inverse of minus 1, 1 by 8? Why or why not? Okay. Now, if this is the multiplicative inverse of this number, in that case, what should happen? In that case, when these two numbers are multiplied, the result should be 1. So, let us see. So, when you multiply 8 by 9 with minus 1, 1 by 8. Is the result 1? So that, that's what we have to calculate. So 8 by 9 into, this is 8 once a 8 plus 1, 9. So minus 9 by 8. So this 8 and 8 will cancel, 9 and 9 will cancel. So the result is minus 1. So is it equal to 1? This is not equal to 1. Now since their product is not equal to 1, that means this is not the multiplicative inverse. Then what is the multiplicative inverse of this number? So if you want, you can calculate that. So minus 1, 1 by 8 is nothing but minus 9 by 8. So the multiplicative inverse of minus 9 by 8 would be 8 by minus 9. So the minus sign is missing here. That is why this is not the multiplicative inverse. Question number 10. Is 0 0.3 the multiplicative inverse of 3, 1 by 3? So again, we will do the same thing. Let us try to multiply the 2 and see if we are getting a 1. Because that's how we define multiplicative inverse. Multiplicative inverse is that number which when multiplied by the original number gives 1. So in this case, we will see 0 0.3 into 3, 3 is a 9 plus 1, 10 by 3. So now 0 0.3 can be written as 3 by 10. So 10 and 10 will cancel, 3 and 3 will cancel. So we get a 1. So therefore, yes, 0 0.3 is the multiplicative inverse of 3, 1 by 3. Question number 11. Write the rational number that does not have a reciprocal. So do you think that there exists any rational number for which you do not have a reciprocal? Of course, there is a number 0 because 0 is a rational number because 0 is nothing but 0 by 1. Now, if you want to find its reciprocal, what would be the reciprocal? The denominator will become numerator and the numerator will become denominator and what is 1 by 0? 1 by 0 is not defined. So, basically, you do not have a defined reciprocal of 0. The rational numbers that are equal to their reciprocals, so those rational numbers would be 1. So, because reciprocal of 1 is also 1 and also minus 1 because minus 1, what is minus 1? It is nothing but minus 1 by 1. So, when you find its reciprocal, it would be 1 by minus 1. And 1 by minus 1 and minus 1 by 1, these are the same things. So, basically their reciprocals would be made the same. The rational number that is equal to its negative. So, that is also 0 because 0, I mean plus 0 minus 0, that doesn't matter. 0 is always 0. So that way we can say that for 0, it's negative and it's positive, they are equal. Question number 12. 0 has dash reciprocal. Now 0 does not have a reciprocal because its reciprocal is not defined. The numbers dash and dash are their own reciprocals as discussed 1 and minus 1. The reciprocal of minus 5 is, now whenever we have to find reciprocal, just reverse the numerator and denominator. So in this case, numerator is minus 5, make that as the denominator and the new denominator is 1, make that as the numerator. So this would be 1 by minus 5 or minus 1 by 5, they are the same things. Reciprocal of 1 by x 
where x is not equal to 0 is. So what would be the reciprocal of 1 by x? So reciprocal of 1 by x, now this is numerator, this is denominator, just change their position. So this would be x by 1, which is nothing but x. Product of two rational numbers is always a rational number. That's because the closure property holds true for product of rational numbers. The reciprocal of a positive rational number is. Now, for any positive rational number, let's say 5. So, what is its reciprocal? It is 1 by 5. Let's say for 19 by 20. What is its reciprocal? It is 20 by 19. So, for all positive rational numbers, their reciprocal would also be positive. Because reciprocal is all about inversing the numerator and the denominator. It has nothing to do with the sign. So therefore, it will always, for a positive number, it will always remain positive. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four-step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes, and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.